Let's see, hold on. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay guys, now we're ready to take a look to see what Groot is made up of. I mean, as you saw in the last video, when you look at his skin, you can't see anything in it. But when you squeeze it, it gets so thin you can actually see the leaves inside. And also the goop, because he's goopy. That's his goop power, he's super goopy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up Groot. Okay guys, so to open him up, because you know, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. In the series one, when I opened up the Gujitsus, they were squirting, splatting, and just bouncing all over the place. And so I wanna make sure I got my safety glasses on, I got my protective gloves. I don't recommend doing this because, you know, I don't know if this is safe, but hey, as curious as I am, I wanna do it so I can find out what makes up these Gujitsus. And you know what, some of my favorite things to do is actually to cut them open because some of the stuff that you have inside, you wouldn't know how cool they were by actually squeezing them. And so that's why I'm like, I really got to get to the inside. What makes a goo in Gujitsu? Oh, he's really stretchy too. And you know what? The one thing I didn't do, I didn't do the slingshot test. How far can he go? <laughs> that backfired. <laughs> uh, stay with me, Groot. Let's see. Oh, well, seven, eight feet. You Groot, girl. Actually, I don't know if he's a girl. He's a dude. I mean, if it was a, a girl name, it'd be something, you know, a little bit more Grooty. Hey, there you go. Groot and Grooty. And you couldn't tell the difference between the two, could you? And Camera Mom's not giving me back Groot so we can do this because he's so cool to feel. Without actually the goo feeling squeezing him, all those little ripples from, you know, trees, they have those little ripples in there. That was an A Dad moment, AD, AD. So let's go ahead and open him up. Let's see, hold on. He really wasn't think I was gonna deal with this, did you guys? You don't, the amount of like thrust I'd have to have on this to it'd crack the table. Oh, and then, you know, besides the ax, I mean, remember Groot, he's afraid of fire. So you know what, he never had birthdays. Cause you know, when you light a candle, happy Groot day two, he just keeps blowing him out before he gets through the song. Cause he's afraid of fire. So let's go ahead and open him up. I'm ready to get to the goop here. I just gotta be careful cause this stuff comes shooting out. Oh, there we go. Okay, here he comes. I just don't want to cut those. Oh man, those leaves are really brilliant green. Whoa, vibrant. That is cool. That is awesome. Let's see if I can cut the rest of it off. Or I don't know. Oh, do you think if I just pull that it would all come? Oh man. If this ricochets off, it'll hit the camera. I don't want this to flick anywhere. Oh, it may come back. Oh, oh that was horrible. <laughs> Did you get some on you? Oh wow, so his head does turn, but you see, we still got, ah, oh, like it's all glisteny. I just wanted to see if I could actually get that part around his neck off. Oh, it looks kind of cool for his little head, but let's get all the rest of the goo out. I wonder if there's anything more in here. I wonder how many leaves, let's count how many leaves. Hey, put in the comments below before we get all the leaves out, how many leaves do you think Groot has? Oop. Oh, see, it just shot at me. I mean, if I wasn't with my yapper, or would a drop would have gotten in my mouth, so I'm not talking while I'm getting. That was close, right on the yips. Uh, there, there's the leaf up in his hand. He's holding on to it. I feel something. It's a leaf. There's a leaf. I think I got it. Oh no, he's got some more in his foot. You know, with the other ones that were super stretchy, it was all the corn syrup. It was hard to get through and it stuck to you. This one just hard to get it out because it wants to slide all over the place. Okay, got another leaf. Really, you guys can stop watching at any time. We're counting up the leaves here. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in another part of leaf counting. We'll begin tonight and finish by dawn. I think that's it. And you didn't have much goo feeling, but I'll tell you guys over and over again, I would choose him, even though he's smaller because of the cool little ripple effect. And maybe that wear off. Maybe that's just a, a new thing that I haven't felt, but let's take a look at that. And the goop is totally clear and it's very viscous. I mean, there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, I'm lucky thirteen. Well, Halloween is coming up, and that's kind of spooky. Guys, um, I was wrong. After I started digging in and washing them out and cleaning them, I found a couple more. So there's a total of fifteen arrowheads. Um, they look like arrowheads. They could be arrowheads, you know. But they're leaves. I mean, hey, what if these were sharp leaves? What if this was poison ivy? Oh, that would be another Marvel uh, villain. Oh, you wouldn't want to have him around poison ivy. She'd poison his leaves. This thing is like. Wow, totally just <laughs> rubbery and stretchy. We'll grab them all and just do a little bit of a drop. So guys, go ahead and be sure to leave a comment if you like Groot or not. I mean, I like him a lot. He's super like, oh, just the skin. I, hey, even the skin, after it breaks open, I'd still wash him out and keep the skin. He's got a Groot feeling. You know, if Mr. Rogers were here, he'd have that. It's such a Groot 
feeling to know you're alive such a happy feeling the feeling inside and hey don't forget for the holidays guys you got your little Groot your baby Groot your Funko Pop oh it's a bobblehead yay he's got the star on top little Groot he started out as a little root and now he's all grown up going to school I like you Groot Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.